Hi all, welcome to my rest of the world team of the season prediction video. Now, before we get further, what I've done for this is cover a hundred different cards. I, um, I will do individual league probably predictions for article for like footbin or um, and so forth. But for now, I thought we'd just do top 100 and then I'll kind of break it down from there. So as you can tell by the thumbnail, some nice individual cards to look forward to. So we can smash the likes, as always, would be much appreciated. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, G's a legend. All links are down below for posting the channel and social media links, as always. So the three goalkeepers I've opted for are Hansen. A slight boost on his uh, player of the year card that he got. Um, Timo Horn for Cologne. Um, maybe a bit of a unlikely shout, but of kind of toiling on goalkeepers. And then Onana. Now, my feeling is... Obviously, Nana I've mentioned in the most consistent, but he could easily feature in the rest of the world or the Benelux. Now, depending how they play this out, my feeling is that the if they do like top one hundred, then you may suddenly find like Hansen and Onana would end up in maybe say a pile of twenty. It'll be if it's a hundred. I'm seeing five weeks to twenty. That's the way I'm doing it with maybe say an objective or three objective cards or SBC cards throughout the week as well. Um, so that way it gives us like a full 23 by the end of it. That's my logical way. So it won't end, it won't end up being like 100, it'll end up being like 115 or something, which will feel a bit stupid, but you never know how they may play it out. So we'll see what happens, but I feel if they did dress the world um, then Hansen and Horn could end up being possible for that, where, whereas Onana ends up in the Benelux. Then for defenders that have stood out, um, depending obviously, of course, how they opt to go for it, with um, Ismaili standout for Shakhtar, um, Dumfries is another um, strong shout from a Benelux view, so you never know what may happen with him. Delay, Tavernier, um, standouts for Melbourne and Rangers respectively. Douglas Santos um, being one of the consistent components in Hamburg season. Had a few moments where he's not been as consistent but it is what it is. Um, Bruno Fernandez, um, Mario Fernandez even, sorry. Bruno Fernandez is obviously the sporting player um, but Mario Fernandez being very consistent for um, CSK as always. Um, Militao, no ex um, no surprise there, may even go higher than that 90 rated card that we've pieced together um, so keep your eyes peeled with that. Angelino um, another standout for PSV um, both full backs um, standing out impressively so one may get the nod over the other. Andre Almeida for Benfica, another key um, component. Um, Hector um, should walk in I would imagine on his performances this season for Cologne Ngadu um, Ngadjui um, I can never pronounce the name fluidly, but um, a standout for um, Slavia Prague. And then our Japanese counterpart from the Pro League um, definitely um, stands out. Obviously, worth noting as well, he has a man in the match card, so he may be given a um, slightly higher boost to what we've given him. And then the light kind of the marquee defender from all of like defenders that we've kind of saw throughout so th this could end up being like your um defenders but it comes down to obviously how to do it but, like Tommy Asu obviously has a 74 man in the match so I've tried to kind of put in line what maybe what I would have done with normal like 75 rated card like yes I've made Tavernier a bit higher but he's been on like the cusp of like an inform like four or five times this year, I think at least. So he's the type of player that I'm surprised that hasn't um, say necessarily been given the nod for an inform and team of season potentially to boot. Now from a midfielder's perspective, it goes a bit crazy. The way we've done this is this is our central cards that we feel deserve a nod. So we've got like Neil Kilkenny, Mancuso. Um, Ryan Christie, um, Souza, uh, PZ, Zahavi, Ronaldo, Augusto, Susek, 
um, Ionia, Drexler, Malin. Um, Stevie Malin might be one of the more um, stupid picks that may be seen out there. But um, Stevie Malin's got like about 15 goals this season. He's got about a dozen assists um, from like league and cup and Europe and so forth. And for me, definitely is one of those players that, regardless, well, players like Christie, for example, are more deserving and McGregor. Um, Malin for Hibernian has definitely deserved a shout and he's also been on the cusp of an inform I think like two or three times at least this season so we definitely merit a shout uh, for Tunis um, for um, Olympiakos Hulk another one Vanekin always seems to bag um, a possible team of the season it always gets quite a decent card actually Akhmatov in the um, Russian league um, a few folk were um, Recommending to him, I'd looked into it further as well, and he seems to have stood out impressively. Um, Stock um, could be a very cheap and pacey cam. Uh, Clement, Belhanda, um, Valeri, Taliska, Bruno Fernandes, and then headlined by that man, Hakim Zayek. But saying that, you may find Zayek or Bruno Fernandes, for example, or even PZ, one of those three could be the real headliners. Now, in Benfica's case, and also in Zayek's case, actually, I will say, because they've got headliners and Europa League live cards, respectively, their cards possibly could still, depending if they were to get another special card or another boost, the, like, in Zayek's case, Zayek might not be, say, 96, he could go 95, could go 94, could go 97. It all depends how... They kind of play it all out, and obviously, if he bags like another in form, and in PZ's case, if like Benfica were to say win it, his um, potential team of the season card could go like say 95 96, it may go above the Europa League live card. So, there's possible uh, maneuverability on that perspective. But for folk like Hulk, Taliska that have got, um, and Renato Augusto that have got. Um, special cards already they may be given like considerable boosts on top of it but we'll see what happens as the um, time progresses um, this is our winners pile um, 12 to um, note we've got Onyekiru uh, for Galatasaray um, Keisuke Honda for um, Melbourne Victory could be a very nice card in a loss he's done very well in the A-League obviously he has a 85 Four rated um, league SBC card, so you've got to keep that in mind for him. Saigonov being very, very impressive for Dynamo Kiev, same as Eden Visca for um, Bajika Spear and um, Vlasic. I can't remember if it's a permanent transfer or it's just a loan to CSK Moscow um, from Everton, but um, he's been very, very consistent for them and meriting a spot. Skov could easily go higher than 89. He could go 90-91 and would be more than meriting of it. He's been very, very impressive this season for Copenhagen. And I can see him potentially not being there next season, um, depending how other teams play out. Danny Olmo um, is maybe one of those other unlikely picks. But I was trying to look at Croatian League. They deserve at least what I would imagine at least one team this season, surely. And I felt Olmo from a European, maybe less so from a league view, but regardless he has merited at least a special card in some capacity this year. Angel Mena, guy's been lethal this season. Um, Duffy, I thought would do a boost on his um, player of the year card that he won. Where it happens or not is a different matter, but we'll see what happens. Corona, Suleimani and Forrest. Um, in Corona's case he could end up in most consistent um, very very impressive season that he has had Suleimani has obviously bagged a couple in form for young boys who have been very impressive young boys themselves may bag um, more than one in form they may bag like a second um, sorry team of the season and then James Forrest has obviously got three in forms to note so his team of the season when it potentially comes could possibly be I think the best ever team of the season card in the Scottish Premiership and could be like Sinclair's card a couple of years ago was a good super sub. This could be even better. Then some winger choices that we've gone for. Um, um, South African League, I was kind of maybe kind of 
clutching at straws. I was kind of toiling, really. Like, Orlando Pirates kind of seem to be the only team that deserve a shout. Um, but whether or not they happen or not is a different matter. Um, they may feature in, like, a rest of the world piles um, individually, depending how it plays out. Berkhaus for Feyenoord being consistent. Rafa obviously just bagged an inform so that 87 could go easily higher. But time will tell. Udegaard been very impressive for Vitesse, one of the most consistent players this season for them. But then, as we mentioned, the most consistent could easily end up in this, and I wouldn't be surprised. Joe Victor and Polino, just two cheap um, wingers from the Austrian and Swedish league, respectively. Whether they happen or not is a different matter. Obviously, Polino is just a boost on his um, award winner card that he got the Player of the Year card. But I thought, might as well at least give him a chance. And Joe Victor has been one of the um, standouts in the Austrian league out with um, De Boer. So I was like, I thought, who else can have deserved a shout from the Austrian league? And I thought Joe Victor, looking at what I've seen from him stats-wise, definitely deserves a um, shout at least. Um, could, as I said, could easily end up in like the rest of the world for like Central Europe. Now, as you can tell, forwards goes a bit crazy. Um, we've genuinely tried to go to town. Forwards-wise, I think we're about 40 or 50 forwards all told. Um, like Length and breadth of the world in different leagues. So, I've tried to cover who have stood out individually in their leagues and so forth. And it gets a bit crazy. So, we've got like Andy Keogh, um Shonga in the um, Zimbabwe, um, sorry, Zambian, Zambian forward in the South African League, Barbaroos, Al Soma, Agalo, uh, Paxio, uh, Carlitos, Angulo. Angu um, depending if we get like a Polish extra Laza play of the year card, we didn't go for last year, but we got in FIFA 17 minutes a Georgia Ofo. Angulo could easily be the player of the year winner. He's been something else despite where the team are in the league, which is kind of crazy. And you could have a mix of, like, Colombian um, cards, so like um, Cano seems to stand out. Obviously, he's just bagged an inform, so it could be a nice little boost on top of that. Um, Chaloff, De Jong, Donnarumma, um, Charbonner, Diallo, Lafondra, Krishna, um, um, Juric, um, Papa Cissé could even get an odd... Um, been very impressive for Alanya Spore in the um, Turkish League. Gignac, Patrick, Joe, Janini, Twamba, um, Gomis, um, Marez for Shakhtar, De Boer, Cosgrove, um, Cosgrave, Cosgrove, um, Hoban. Hoban is one of those cards. Uh, the reason why I've included Hoban is because of the um, he was unlucky to not get Player of the Year card. But I thought because of how impressive that season was, and depending on how he plays this season, he may easily get a, a nod into this. Like, it would be unfair on like the Irish League to not bag like a Team of the Season card, in all honesty. like I know in previous years we've actually had it for like rest of the world, that we have like Airtricity um, League feature, like Towel, and um, I think like Horgan was another. So... It's some of the leagues that obviously depending when they've played some of them may get nods, some of them may not. Um, so that's kind of like in Patrick and Joe's case they could be quite difficult to potentially say merit but on last season's form they more than deserve it. And obviously Joe obviously has a league SBC card so it would definitely I would imagine go above that particular card. Um, and folk like same with Gomis as well, he's got one as well, so it would go above it. And then obviously for folk that have like informs like Krishna, um, Twamba, uh, De Boer, um, Al Soma and Yulo Egalo, I'd imagine they'll go like well and truly above it. Gignac, obviously he's got a player of the year card as well. I'd imagine a team of the season team of the season card would go above it. So that would kind of give um like yes, they are like the award winner was like what eighty six rated. I'd imagine the team of the season card that they would give them would go above it. 
because it would be one it would be tradable but also it's just a bit of a healthier boost on what he earned and in all honesty um, at this stage of FIFA like you'd rather have like an 89 90 rated version of Juniac as a tradable card rather than say a 86 re-release that was given like what two three months ago so you kind of feel on that basis other forwards that may feature folks um, Joe Felix, kind of um, notable shout, um, Digny, um, the Galatasaray striker now, obviously running, he ran dry at the first half of the season and should have had a couple informs by now, so even though he's possibly only going to be 87, it may go considerably higher, depending how they work the rest of the world. Who's who, um, another key component in the Basel squad, um, sorry, young boy squad, um, keeping Basel at bay in the league, get my words the wrong way round, I was going to, but we get there in the end, Tarod being very very impressive for Cologne, what was like 32, 33 goals this season, um, Tadic um, made the transfer to Ajax um, seamless in the end and it could be a very very nice card in honesty, uh, Joseph Martinez, obviously he got his play of the year card that was 86 rated that could go um, put, possibly like 90-91, maybe even 89 depending how they opt to do it, but I feel MLS either may get their own team this season, or he may feature in this and it be given a good boost. Um, Morelos being been um, very impressive for Rangers being like top goal scorer in the league, and will get a nice boost on to his um, league SPC card, so will be very popular for SPFL fans. Severovic, question of what rating he will be, multiple informs and the, the guy has been very very impressive this season for Benfica, he was a silver, went to gold last year, went from to silver this year and obviously bagged a few informs to boot, Lissandro Lopez, guy has been very very impressive in the Argentine league, this will feel like a flashback card of old, then Rooney, um, very impressive for DC since joining them, whether or not he happens or not, because obviously he's got a league SPC card and a flashback card, so it'll be very difficult to kind of decide whether or not he happens. Then Samata in the um, Pro League, another standout um, striker for in there, and more than deserving his spot. Obviously won't be the most appealing card in the world, but still regardless deserves his spot. Hamdala, um, this guy has been absolutely lethal in the Saudi League. His card could be absolutely juicy from um, a number of perspectives, um, just from a like, pace, physical and shooting. And then Ibra kind of rounds off the MLS options where not he happens. Like, he should happen anyway because of the many performances that he put in last year. He was nominated for Player of the Year and he started off this season with a bang and I would say more than deserves a team of the season card but it comes down to if like for a lot of these leagues like if we get individual then it would be great and I will honestly will cover individual leagues um, after this but I thought I'd at least do a top 100 to at least give you food for thought and then I'll cover maybe individual leagues as the, um, the, the days and weeks progress and hopefully take it from there and then um, we'll hopefully have a better idea of like maybe what players will feature in Liga Nos, Chinese League, MLS, and in general rest of the world from there. But hopefully you find the useful folks. As I said, a hundred players have featured, and um, plenty of food for thought, and um, for what to possibly expect. Let me know, folks, down in the comments below, and um, who you fancy for a rest of the world card, or however it may play out. And as I said. I'll get the individual leagues sorted in due course. So thank you all, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later.